and we're back. Day two, part two, IQ saw, dry cut, dust free. It's right here. We have nine pieces of material from marble, porcelain, ceramic, half inch quartz, half inch porcelain, everything. Glass as well. Yes, we're gonna test glass on the IQ saw. We will test the large format table. We will test the miter table and the vacuum hose kit. Without further ado, let's not waste any more time. Here we go. Let's quickly go over here and show you the material that we're going to cut. We've got a, quite a bit of it. Stacked stone here. Very thick, 5 eighths of an inch quartz. This will test how the vacuum system contains the dust. We have glass, of course. We must test some glass. Very long, four foot plank. We have a piece of porcelain here. This will be our first cut. A simple cross cut to see how clean it is. We have a ceramic sheeted mosaic. Also, another piece of porcelain here. We will miter this edge of the porcelain, and of course, we have this 18 by 18 marble. Okay, a lot of material. We're going to put this saw to the test. Here we go. So the first thing you do when you get this saw, it has fins in the middle of the tray that need to be cut out, as you can see closely. Let's zoom in. I turn this on. Twelve by twenty four porcelain. Always use ear protection. And there we are, impressed. Two things right off the bat. One, I can push this through just as quickly. It seems like a little quicker than a wet saw. And two, the quality of the cut. Extremely clean cut. Now, one important thing to quickly mention before we move on. If you live in a cold part of the country and you are using a wet tile saw, this thing is a game changer. You don't have to deal with cold, freezing water. Now for the next cut, we will rip a large four foot porcelain plank with the extension table, attempt to cut glass and miter cut hard porcelain with the miter attachment. Let's install the extension table. Now keep in mind you do not slide the material through, you simply remove this fence here, attach it to the table, lock the table, and press and push your material through the blade. Lock it here, drop the plunge down. Quickly remove the fence, two clips, one here, one in the back. You can do one of two things. Use the ruler that is installed on the front and back of this extension table, or simply use a tape measure. We will use the ruler to see how accurate it is. We'll do five inches here and five inches in the back. Here is our four foot porcelain plank. Let's make a cut and see how clean it cuts and how accurate it cuts. Now here it is, one quick thing to mention, it's very nice to be able to 
rip a large four foot plank without the tile falling off in the back. One person job. Here's your cut. Fairly clean. Little rough on this end. Nothing a diamond hand pad can't smooth out and bevel. Fantastic. It works well, it works like it's supposed to. The extension table for large format tile. Let's uh, measure this really quick and check the accuracy. Five inches exactly. And five inches on the other side. Yes, it is accurate. Let's quickly remove the large format table. Just that easy. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, the uh, company claims it does not cut glass. We'll give it a shot. We have a glass subway. It's about a, I don't know, four by 12, three eighths of an inch thick. Let's give it a shot. Again, impressed. It cut this glass without a problem. Look at the backing, no blowout. I'm not quite sure if it's because this glass has backing. Since it cut this glass so well, I mean, you hit that with a diamond pad and you're good to go. We will try a glass mosaic, a sheeted glass mosaic. I've got to try the glass one more time. Let's go, sheeted glass mosaic. Not a bad cut. You can clean this up easily again with a diamond hand pad and install. Let's move on and miter some hard porcelain. Here is your miter attachment. Much different than your typical wet saw that can tilt at a 22 and a half and a 45. Let's see how well this works. I have a feeling this thing takes some practice and some getting used to. Let's quickly install. Now they like you to use a speed square or framing square to square it out. I simply eyeballed it. Let's give it a shot. You have the hard porcelain and our clamp to hold it in place. You can cut with the dust shroud on or off. I'm gonna remove it. I think it'll be better and easier to cut with the dust shroud off. My clamp is on. I'm gonna hold this part so that it doesn't get sucked down or pushed up. Again, something that will definitely take some getting used to. Let's give it a shot. Well, here's the miter. Not bad at all. I think I might have gotten lucky. It looks like it's right before the glaze. Here it is. Better than I was expecting, but again, I'm sure consistency will be something that uh, you need a lot of practice with. 
to get the miter clean in just a 32nd of an inch at the glaze for a clean, tight miter. But all in all, impressed again. I really am. <laughs> Let's move on. Now really quickly, we will remove this miter table introduce the third attachment, which is the shop vac, the port hose kit attachment, to remove all of these chips from the mitered cut. Your heavy duty hose and attachment. Connect the hose back here. Turn the saw on and remove the debris. Let's remove the vacuum hose kit and quickly run through the last three pieces of material. Marble, stacked stone, and of course quartz to see how well it contains the dust. And then we will talk about the pros and the cons of this saw. Here we have the stacked stone. Fantastic cut. I can't forget the ceramic. Let's try this quickly. Very popular tile for shower remodeling. Very, very clean cut with your standard ceramic subway. Now what we have here is 5 eighths of an inch thick of quartz. This quartz kicks up a lot of dust, so let's pay attention to the dust containment here. I did see some dust come out right back here. If you're cutting stuff like this indoors, I would suggest wearing a mask. It does not contain all of it. I would say a good 90 plus percent. Let's move on. Now here we have large format marble. This is where the extension table comes into play. Open it up. And make your cut. Cuts like butter and a hot knife. Now before we talk about pros and cons, I've got to say the dust extraction system works fantastic. We will be using this saw in our current project, so I'm not quite sure how well it'll work indoors. We will have to see. And once again, if you live in a cold part of the country, this thing is a game changer. It does not take water. You don't have to deal with cold, freezing water. It is a dry cut, dustless, tile cutter. Now, for the pros and cons. The cons are simple. One, it sits very low, lower than a uh, Lockmon B 7 inch, a rigid 7 inch, a Diamondback 7 inch. It sits fairly low. Two, the miter attachment is a little finicky. It definitely takes some getting used to. It is not as easy as a quick tilt of a 22 and a half or 45 degree of your traditional standard wet tile saw. Three, wheels. I wish there were some wheels on the stand so that you can simply pick it up and move it from point A to point B. And the last con is the price. Yes, it is very expensive, but it speeds up so much time. You will make that expense up with saving time, with setup and breakdown, cleanup, and you will get your investment back quickly. Now the pros are simple. It's waterless, dustless. 
It's super compact. It can sit in tight, small areas. It has a laser. It's extremely easy to tilt on the back, attach the stand and tilt back upright. So it's easy to set up. It's very quick to set up. The table has absolutely no wobble or movement. It's extremely accurate. It can cut a four foot tile accurately without veering off at all under a 32nd of an inch. I love it. We're going to keep it. It will go into our toolbox. We will be using it with our current tiling project. And of course, I will have update videos on this. Part three, IQ tile saw comprehensive review will be this saw compared to two wet tile saws. We will compare cuts, we will compare size, we will compare transportation, setup, breakdown, you name it. So subscribe, stay tuned, and of course share this video if you know anybody who might find it useful, and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.